There are more than 105 million Filipinos all over the country. 100 million people occupying a 300,000 square kilometer space. Overpopulation has become a crucial case all over the world. It is a global problem with environmental, social, and economic issues. There are three results of overpopulation which are resource exhaustion, population and agricultural consumption, the threatened future the most. The rise in birth rate has a great impact on natural resources, especially in respect to food consumption. Too many people, too little space. Living place is becoming increasingly saturated. This overcrowding is causing a range of problems such as lack of education, lack of health care, unemployment, and general poverty. Every 20 minutes, the world adds another 3,500 human lives. In the next 100 years, dramatic changes will occur as Earth becomes a packed tight world even more crowded and degraded. Huge losses of plant and animal life will also take place. Every day is a struggle for the people to find food, water, and shelter. They live in poor condition, and their main goal is to survive. Barangay Palingon, Kalamba, near Laguna de Bay, has reached the speedy level wherein the number of people doesn't match with the span of its area. It is the second smallest barangay in Kalamba. The influx of people, because usually the residents are very big-a-big-a-big. But the influx of Kalamba, especially in the city, is the influx of people. tao gan sa ibang provincia kaysa sa sa bigol sa 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 iba pang part ng Pilipinas tumama sir paano yung madi describe yung yung look ichura ng lugar niyo dante sa ngayon kasi iba ang layo kasi meron ako ng malawak ang mga kusa niyo mahal ko sa ichura ng balangin namin kasi dante dante ko nung balangin yung tatay ko so malamis silang pictures pati mula noon hanggang sa pinaka-recent yung nakaupo siya. Ang pictures niya noong 60s, 70s. Nung 70s kasi siya nakaupo. Ikagawad siya dati bago yung kapitan. Ayun, iba, ano, ang lawak niya as in malaking space. Kitang-kita mo yung lake mula sa malayo. Ay, ngayon po? Ngayon, hindi na. Yung bahay, iba na, malawak na. Tapos yung, kahit nga yung, yung hangin, <laughs> 
Iba na, hindi na dati kasi nalalang ng bata ako. Pagka talagang mahangin, magdam mo yung hangin talaga. Ngayon, hindi na. Iba na yung kasing cramp na. Ilan na po ba ang population sa ngayon po ng barangay? Population? Um, yung last na survey namin, 6,572. Uh, uh, tapos, ang male, 3,290. Tapos, ang female, 3,282. Oh, masikip na ako. Masikip na. Kasi yung sa isang, sa isang pamilya kasi, dati nung, nung araw, nung palaman namin, ang isang looban, meron ang isang pamilya, nasa one, ano, yung 1,000 square meters, pinakamalit na, 500 square meters, yung isang pamilya. Ngayon, after, ano, 30, 40 years, kasi kung ano pinupwento ng mga lola ko yung tsura dati ng mga lola. Ano na siya, yung, yung nag, ibang city, sumibi na yung bahay, yung nagpa-city na sila, yung mga anak nila doon na rin. So, talaga yung siksigan. Tapos, yung amin yung tabing lawa, eh, nagtong influx nga ng mga tagaibang dominsya. As in, sila na yung ano, yung madami. Naging open kasi kami sa ano, sa, sa, ano, sa pagpasok ng mga bagong presidente. Ayun, medyo, ano, medyo pangit, medyo masama. Kasi una-una, yung, yung basura, hindi lahat sumusunod sa, tulad ngayon, uh, hapon, nagigot nga kami dahil sa, ano, sa pinupumukunit namin na naman yung, yung segregation. Kasi itong, itong palingin kasi, meron siyang, uh, tatong pa nangyong isto, magkakatikin, uh, palingon, uh, lingga at saka sa pilihan. So, meron kaming MR materials and public facility. So, yung, yung pagdami ng tao, kailangan ng mas intense yung problems namin sa sa sa, 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 sa basura, sa kalimisan. Kasi gawa ng hindi na kinakaya ng, ng hapot ng basura. Tapos, yung mga bambang namin, talagang ano, puno talaga ng basura. Kailangan talagang matuduan sila ng proper way segregation. about having overpopulation, quote-unquote, no, is to uh, use those number of people as human resources that can also counter the uh, difficulties being uh, experienced by the natural resources. So why don't we use them no, to create a brigade or a large population which are educated as far as the preservation of the environment is concerned. So that way, when we disperse these people around the urban areas, when we transfer them to uh, different places, then we can brigade, uh, form smaller groups or brigades that can also uh, be used in the implementation of environmental programs in their new areas. Okay? So I think we don't what, uh, the government should not be uh, dealing with people as diba, yung mga parang ano na, disperse mo and then uh, nothing is done when it, when it comes to education. So education and using them in environmental awareness campaign.